keep forgetting to share this with you. But I got this cool bag holder. You know, when you go to the grocery store and you get the little plastic bags, Ginger from Not For Nothing Homestead made this and it's perfect. I use it all the time. And then L&M Country Living sent us some seeds, some turnips, no, turnips and mustard seeds. These are going in the garden. Thank you guys so much. I love this. Hello, I'm Jen and I'm a seed addict and I like to be organized. Y'all have a good day. Good morning everyone. Today is going to be a busy day for us for projects. Uh, we took a couple days off and we did some fishing and finally landed some crappie which was a blessing. Uh, but today it's back to work. We've got some things to do. So what do you think Green? What do you think buddy? Did we do good? You're doing a good job protecting the garden. <laughs> Guys, the first thing we're gonna do is we're moving this compost pile over and turning it. And then I have some licking tubs and we are going to be drilling some holes in there and filling them up with the compost that's under that pile. And then, we are also going, we have a rapid soil test kit and we are going to test this compost and just do a basic test on the soil up front in the garden. So that's what's going on. Good morning, boss. Good morning. And then I have my wonderful, handsome husband to help me. And Toby, of course, he's supervising the lambs or the sheep are over there, they're supervising, they're, they're behind me. All right, here we go. Next, I've drilled some, I have a half inch drill bit and I've drilled holes around the side. And now I'm gonna do some holes. Hold on, hold on a second. You see how the middle of that is raised up a little bit? Yeah. There. Well, it, in theory, is it on the inside? Is it just a little bit higher on the inside or is it flat? That part's high. Okay. Yeah. That's high. So, uh, I don't know if you wanna drill it up through there. Yeah, maybe about right there. And I wouldn't, I'd only put four, I'd put them in the, like, yeah, like that, like. I don't know how to. I hate this drill because you got to hold it. The boss is going to do it. Okay, so it's going to take five cups of water and one cup of soil in a okay, clean is, container. Yeah. So this is for the nitrogen, phosphorus, and potash test. Yeah. Fill a clean container with one cup of soil and five cups of water. Larger or smaller quantities may be tested as long as the one to five parts proportions are maintained. For best results, use bottled or distilled water. For best. So. Well, we have well water, so I do have distilled water, but I... It's okay. We're going to do it with well water, y'all. Okay. Thoroughly shake or stir the soil and water together for at least one minute. 
Then allow the mixture to stand undisturbed until it settles. 30 minutes to 24 hours, depending on soil. A fine clay soil will take much longer to settle out than a coarse, sandy soil. The clarity of the solution will also vary. The clearer, the better. However, cloudiness will not affect the accuracy of the test. Okay. So we got to let it settle for 30 minutes. Settle for 30 minutes. And we're going to go ahead and dig up some of this compost. Look how pretty it is, y'all. At least 30 minutes. So pretty. So we're going to put that in the bucket. And uh, then we'll take it over to the garden. And even, you know, even if it's a little acidic or off, we could still work with it in the bucket. And, um, sorry, we have the chickens locked up. We're putting some eliminator down for fleas and ticks being proactive so anyway even though we can still amend it and fix it in the buckets I'd rather do it in a bucket than in the whole garden so we're gonna get going and fill those up and wait the 30 minutes and we're gonna come back and test this and let's see how how it is all right y'all see you in a little bit this is really heavy and so I have some uh, biofungicide and mycorrhiza soil that's peat moss bark based and we're mixing a layer of each and then we're mixing it all up so it's gonna make it a little lighter for this because it's heavy y'all it's um it's like dirt so I'll be like, curious to like see what it sort of feels like clay, but we'll, I'll be curious to see how this tests out. All right, back to work we go. So the boss and I were just talking, and you know, we just had all this rain, and that might have something to do with why this is so heavy, because generally it's not like this. So what we're going to do, well, what we did here is we mixed the other soil, and it's blended in with the compost. But this one, we're gonna just put a layer of compost down here, probably right above the hole, and mix it up a little bit. I might put a little of the other soil in there. Um, but that's why this is so, so heavy, because we had a lot of rain and it's compacted in there anyway just wanted to share that with you that's what we're doing so yeah I'll just keep you playing you can you can watch me <laughs> all right one more shovel I would have got that shovel this weighs a thousand pounds and the boss brought me my tool so I could break up the clumps yeah because she won't go walk a hundred feet to go get <laughs> the right tools I know I didn't <laughs> it's true oh, I just got dirt on my face I'm a gardener, I got dirt on my face. <laughs> Alright, just breaking up some of the clumps, y'all. Generally, oh, it's so windy. Generally, the, uh, the soils, you know, like this, close to it anyway close enough. Alright, that's good. Right above the holes on the side. Don't dump it all of it. We're gonna top remember we're gonna top it off with oh okay with this stuff. Okay. 
Gotta watch every move she makes. <laughs> Till it this year. Hey guys, we've got one more section down the side and then by the big metal raised bed. I gotta get that covered. So we're gonna work on that. All right, we're almost done. We're, uh, we're gonna move the water trough in here. Want me to walk backwards? No, it's just Not that heavy. Yeah, we're not, we're getting a load of compost to fill this. Oh yeah. Hold on, hold on. We weren't sure we were gonna do this. And uh, we staked everything down. Do we want to make a better clear path through there? Well, that's where our gate is. So yeah, as we come in, just have to. It doesn't really matter to me. Okay. Yeah. So. All right, we're not sure what we're gonna grow in here, you guys. But let's let's. Uh, we don't want to put drain holes in it. Yeah, it's got a leak in it. We don't know where. A slight. Well, it it had water in it. Trust it. It did have water in it. But we're gonna we're gonna turn this into some sort of bed, but we don't. Yeah. We don't want to put uh, we don't want to put holes in it. So, what do you guys? If you guys can comment, tell us what we should grow in this. Maybe. Yeah. Give us an idea. So we have all the sides done. We've got this done. Man, it looks so good. And then I'll take you up here. I covered up the strawberries again. I got a couple more to cover. But we got all down the, all down here. All down the perimeter. The only thing I'll have to weed eat is like in between and on the edge of this garden. And we're gonna build one more bed for right here. I want one more bed. So, um, I just got my tripod stuck in the fence. Okay, sorry guys. Anyway, we got all that covered and we're one step closer. But look, y'all, gotta show you our What's radishes. That right is that a weed? That's a lettuce. Oh, okay. Our radishes are coming up. What's that? They're an onion? That's a rogue garlic. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> we don't know how it got there. Anyway, I'm gonna put some straw on these because it's gonna get down to 29 this morning. And um, we're so close, we're so close. And then April 15th, well, uh, the end of March, we're gonna put our potatoes in. April 15th is our last frost date. And I've got so many things growing in the house. It's awesome. And they're doing good. My first year really being successful doing seed starts. So that's exciting. All right. Uh, got a couple more things to do. We'll see you in a little bit. Okay, we're back at the compost pile. And the boss is testing the pH on the compost.
just shake this for a minute? Shake it thoroughly and then let it sit for a minute. Okay. So you can stop that if you wanted to. Yeah. I don't need to. Well, Toby wants to say hello to the people. Let me shake it. Hi, people. Say hi, Tob. Oh. All right. We'll be back in a minute. My camera just decides to video even when I push the stop button. That's <laughs> so weird. Okay, now. Here's what ours tests. Uh -oh! And I would call that closer to pH of neutral. I mean, it's pretty close to that. That's, it's hard to tell out here. It's it's not obviously it's not acidic, complete really acidic, yeah. like six or anything, but it isn't the darkest green either, yeah, which is Move you. you do it. Yeah. Right there. So that's good news. Yeah. I would say I would call that pH of neutral. Yeah, seven point oh. I'd call that 7.0. 6, 8, 7, 0, something yeah. like that. Yeah. I'd call it 7.0. point oh. All right, we got the other test to do. I gotta go find a block because we covered the compost again. And uh, I gotta, I need one more block. All right, so we got the nitrogen test here and we are nitrogen adequate. So we're not sufficient, we're not deficient. Can I don't know, fine? I don't know if I'm showing that. It's better if you hold it up. Yeah, there you go, now you can see Okay, it. so. Well, we no, are it we are well you left the sunshine so okay well anyway anyway it's adequate it's adequate yay okay, so two for two could be better but so now we have hold on i'll tell you how many minutes on that one left one minute one minute so in a minute We'll show you that one. Oh my gosh, y'all, the wind. Okay, this one says it's got a monster because it's got flakes in it and it's shaking up some more. Yep. That's the chicken roof. Got to screw it down. Another project to add to the list. Okay, so we'll be. The phosphorus is, should be about ready, right? Uh, you have 25 seconds. You still on here? Yeah, we're okay. still on. I'm still filming. 25 seconds. This one? Okay. It's pretty Let darn me. close. I don't know. Pretty... Oh, There's the alarm. Ready. I would call that one phosphorus deficient. Yeah. Being honest here. Yeah. Looks like it's phosphorus. It. You have to hold it up in the sun. Okay. That right there that shows it. Yeah. I mean, it's right between deficient and adequate. We haven't so, had, we haven't had surplus yet, so or yeah. sufficient, so that I would call. Let me see it again. I would call it deficient. Well, now I'm holding it up here. Yeah, it what's right there. So we do need to add some phosphorus. Yeah. Okay. You see it good? Yep. Okay. This, this one here. This is the potash test. Or potash. Potash, yeah. potash, whatever. Yeah, it's this, adequate. This one is adequate, so. And I've been adding that all year from the wood stove. So. Well, you'd think it'd be sufficient, more than sufficient. Well, you know. It'd be like surplus, but it's not. It's not. But anyways. It's great. It's, it's good enough. So we just need to add phosphorus. phosphorus. Yeah. Yep, according to this. Well, that's fantastic news. All right, y'all, I'm going to turn this off for now. I just had to come out here one more time and look. 
it's such a transformation compared to what it was. The boss is going to make me another bed like this. But wow. I am so happy with this. So happy. I've got the flowers in the uh, seed pots. And um, I've got the... I've got my... Uh, sunflowers in here they haven't come up yet and I have my sunflowers in here and they haven't come up in here either oh look look one awesome that's great news how exciting and then I still have to fill this one y'all I haven't done it yet and then right over there is where the next small bed's gonna go. But I am so happy with it. All right. So what do you think, Green? What do you think, buddy? Did we do good? You're doing a good job protecting the garden. <laughs> My uh, friend Linda gave him to me. May she rest in peace. And we just got so many laughs about the green giant. <laughs> so, uh, as long as he's still in one piece, I will always, always have him in the garden. I've got one more task to do. I have to wrap our pear tree. It's blooming. I just looked at our apple. And uh, it's blooming. Well, it's getting buds on it. But it's not blooming. The pear tree has bloomed. And I don't want those to fall off. So that's the last thing on my list. And uh, that's that's all I've got, y'all. Thanks for coming along, man. I know this was a, a long video, but we had so much to do. The boss did fix the chicken coop roof. Got that settled down. And now i got to go wrap the pear tree. Y'all be blessed and love all. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Bye now.